Corning Community College nursing students, they took part in a mass casualty training simulation to simulate using their skills in a high intensity hospital situation. WNY's Connor Friedhoff was able to view the drill and also see how the students are using this training to prepare for the worst. Connor. Well, Nick, CCC's nursing program students took on a hypothetical mass casualty event earlier today. Now, this drill consisted of responding to injured persons and administering care based on the severity of the injury. And it serves as a way to prepare the students for a possible high-intensity situation where lives are on the line. A driver becomes incapacitated at the wheel of a moving vehicle and plows through a gathering of people. Dozens now suffer from injuries ranging from minor burns to broken bones, and a team of medical personnel must move quickly to ensure survival for the injured. That was the scenario that CCC nursing students had to navigate in a mass casualty drill. Um, these students have been here for two years and are graduating in May, so they are learning how to put together all of the skills and the critical thinking that they have learned and apply that to these patients that, uh, that they need to take care of. Students had to quickly administer care to those affected, and fellow CCC students served as stand-ins for the injured while instructors and members of emergency management serve to evaluate their response. The knowledge learned is incredibly valuable to the students as they prepare to bring their skills to the real world. It helps the community, it helps us as soon-to-be nurses, and it just like prepares us to the best of our ability. We have people here that aren't in the program that are learning, and we're learning, and I think it's just going to make me a better nurse at the end of the day. But I feel more prepared in the event that that does happen now, just triaging patients, um, making sure your assessments are correct, and taking care of your patient to the best of your abilities. Understanding and preparing for mass casualty events is necessary across all avenues of emergency response. As emergency management describes it, we don't want these events to happen, but they can happen nonetheless. The more we prepare our first responders and our hospital staff for a, an incident like this, it's uh, much easier for us in the field to, be, to know how uh, the hospital is going to react and the capabilities of our facilities. Now, mass casualty events can and do happen, but simulations like this one help provide real-world experiences to those entering the healthcare field. And preparing the next generation of nurses for the worst will help bolster the local quality of emergency care and response.